Miss Sting, we don't need no Cynthia Cause we bad bitches lie in India Saint Laurent, Miss Sting, the sure we use that Now all the tea, and that's that Feel it, and I'm gonna give it to you Again and again Again and again Again and again and again Again and again and again You ready for this? Uh, let's go Oh, everything about this and that All of this a matter of fact Turn to me, turn to this I'm the one with the information, bitch All the news ready to attack Get to your mind, serving like that Around the world, right to your living room I'm the one bringing it to you So sit down, please take a seat Because you're in for a little treat No need to worry, we got you The listen, play to me, my boo I got to see the lip and see Now sit back and listen to me Sit back and listen to me Who went to that today? Okay, so 
If you want to know, what should it take for world style runway experience on the major runway on fashion? Because you know, lately, you know, when you look at the runway shows and stuff like that, it looks like they, they are wearing effects versus couture. Like, couture is looking more effective than couture to me. You know, I mean, I love fashion, I'm a fashion genius, but I do see a difference in a way. It's like, it's kind of like the comedian ballroom's look versus just high fashion. Cause you know, ballroom, we, you know, we, you know, we don't play on games on that floor. We don't matter what category, especially on that. And that's, you know, personally one of my favorite categories. So it's best to have that to you know, that have to sit here with today. So, you know, like, what y'all think about that? Do y'all see that? So I know for a fact that um, a lot of designers get inspiration from ballroom. A lot of fashion designers are in ballroom. A lot of fashion designers come to watch ballroom and you know, it, you know, oh that was cute, you know, little shoulder here, you know, little, you know, little, uh, uh, I don't even know exactly what the right word for it. It's bizarre, from bizarre pictures, you know, so. They get the inspiration from that. And they kind of been like running from it, running with it. But also they've been picking, you know, Europeans and female figures as well as female figures. Right. Well, that's, you know, that is, that's funny that you bring up the bizarre because on the show Legendary, it was, it was like, you know, kind of like a few going back and forth of what is couture fashion versus bizarre. And you know, Warren Rochelle was giving say that he was not seeing fashion, he was not seeing, you know, that was like a big argument. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being the fact that you know you guys are, you know what I'm saying, are Broadway, you know what I'm saying, you guys are big girls, you guys are Broadway. You know, like, how did you feel about that? You know, like, did you think, does you think that that makes sense or it doesn't? Because, you know, you, what you just saying is that it's giving you bizarre effect to you, you know what I'm saying, now, versus, you know, well, to me, bizarre in couture, couture means movement. So, as far as that look goes, that could be something that's editorial and something that you is not ready for streetwear, but something that you would take an over picture. Um, yeah, bizarre is something that is not thought of as using different materials that you would normally use. It's basically everything about it is bizarre. Like, so that's the difference. Conventional items, basically. I'm not going to think there's no way to confuse the two. To me, I think there's no way to confuse the two. Right, I think it's big or big. But I think you say what Laura Walsh did say, well, allegedly, because I'm not saying what he said verbatim, but I do recall him saying that, you know, Bazaar is, it, it wasn't giving him fashion, he was bored. It wasn't giving him, and versus, you know, saying that Bazaar is fashion. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, know. I can understand that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like if you're if you're if your outfit is too bizarre and it's not too bizarre, but like if it's just crazy and it's not fashionable, I don't think that's like, you know, or not So when you saw did you see the show? Did you, did you think that as well? Did you see the pieces? I can't remember. But oh, I, I, I said it. the lie. I, I, no, great show. That great says show. a lot, you guys. I feel I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I just okay, so this question is especially for you, Brody, because I know that right now you're like the only all American sitting here on this question. So I wanted to ask you, um, what you know, what made you cross over from pre workmanness to all American? Um, it was school board running. School board. But um, originally. But you gave me pretty boys, so that was the first thing. Thank you. I don't know why they're trying to make you do school board. Right? Uh, but, I don't know um, you're school, but you look very good. <laughs> Thank you. Like 90s, you know? Like the 90s too? Like, you know what I mean? Like it's really cool. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think you know, the, like you sweat and um. Yeah, I think the I men looked better back then. So I try to like, you know, yeah, keep that. You know, that. you got the earrings and stuff. You oh, know, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Say it. Say it. It's like, no, it's like. <laughs> Thank you. But um, at first they brought me in for school boys, so I was supposed to be walking around it. Um, I was new to the gay world in general, so you know it was still giving downloads, still give like realness. And then since I started to model on my college team, 
and I started to pursue it uh, professionally, I guess I just, you know, switched it when um, a house chose me. Well, I was recruited too. I had options before. And you, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going with them. Yeah. Okay. And then once I changed and once they recruited, mm -hmm. recruited me, they um, thought that it would be better to walk on American. And I was already doing it anyway, like oh, as so a model. Oh, so they thought that you would be good better as an all American. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I'm glad they chose that because mm -hmm. I had fun with it. So. Okay. So this is like one of my favorite questions I like to ask, or even like to hear me ask. Who do you consider is your rival? Starting with you, Makoto. Wow. Uh. I could say that Dominique would be my rival. Um, I could say Jarrell was my rival at one point. Did you say Wes, like you demolished him, or? <laughs> I hope he wasn't here for that. No! <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can call them my rival, but the person that I battle the most is New York City father, um, Jojo Saint Laurent. He got me a few times more than I've gotten him, so I guess we can go with Jojo. But he's less than me. I think he's the easy man. I mean, he's the yeah. He's the girl. No, but that's the only guy that I keep going back. Sorry, Jojo. He's a good guy. Yeah, but that's how I feel too with like with small boys like I dominate that category so I don't feel like there is no shit. It's really I mean you really mm -hmm. I, the way I did that is crush people that I battled multiple times. But Chef, I personally believe that like the same way that it really is in the right I mean, I've battled people in the past, current and you know I'm looking at now in the future so here we like, yeah. yeah, and you can be forgotten quickly. Yeah. All it would take is for a new girl to come and she is disgusting and she wipe you out of here. Yes, you can. That new girl is sent on the way. Like, oh, no, I don't know. Yes, you can. You came back and you made a whole lot of noise and. You know, in one year you came back, in one year you, you stayed, you stayed a few balls and ended up on TV. In one year. So that was a great time. So that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. We have a hot new item. Yes. We have a hot new artist immersion named Ranger Danger Live In. So don't leave your chat. Okay, hey, so um, I got a this question from the very first thing that we like watching on the show. The question they have for you before the room they want to talk to walk in on this is like that. If you had an opportunity to create a 
create an ultimate runway team, past, present, or you know, past, present, or in the future. Select five teammates. Ooh. <laughs> Not them for her <laughs> So my team would be Dominique. It would be oh Dominique Mugler. It would be um Corey Lavin. Gillette X Mizrahi, which is my mother. Period. She would be on that team, period. Marquise would be my all-American and Diva the Barber. All right, so my five people that would be on the team would definitely be Little Greg, Auger, um, Lolita, 007, Dirk, Galore, um, Day Day, Auger, and one more. Who would it be? You know what? I'm gonna go with Stefan Con West. If I had to pick a team of five, I would pick London Miyaki Muglia. I would pick the icon Ray Ray Mizrahi. I would pick uh, Boy Boy West. I would pick, where am I at? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm at three. Um, Dominique, the icon, Dominique, Yaki Mugler. Um, and my fifth person, as far as All American, would be Father JoJo St. Laurent. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a good time with you guys, but I only have one more question left, okay? So, my last question for y'all oh, for is Who inspired you to want to walk around with in the world? I'm gonna start off with you. Because you were so eager. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so it was a couple. So I'm from the South. Shout out to my South Carolina. So I had um, Tommy Redmond. I had Tommy Redmond. Um, and I was watching Tommy Redmond. What the world? Yes, thank you, Grace, for gracing my food with that. Thank you. 
All right, guys. Yes. And look at y'all. This is not the last time y'all gonna see him, y'all. So get ready, okay? Okay. <laughs> Later, y'all. Hey, DJ, turn my shit up. Shit up. Uh. Uh huh. Brains. Hey yo, I'm the new sheriff, I'm the Don, dressed in PA. So get your shit and scatter if you know you don't belong here. Only real niggas round me. Ain't fucking with no clowns, uh -huh. me. All you little crooks about to get fucked. Uh -huh. Laughing at the thought that you could have a fuck with uh -huh. me. Swifty with the right, left a scar. Ain't no lying, gang. I am on your code, singing about some fucking memory. Claim you with the shit into the shit, that's the treachery. Uh -huh. All you niggas curse, dying off like the Kennedys. I'm securing bags, they keep coming like amenities. I got the remedy, shorty just spilling me uh -huh. AR-15 ain't worried about no enemies If you don't want problems, you should move around 1018, uh -huh. get your spot shut down Pass your fucking head in, set a fire, I'ma get it uh -huh. Go and let that set in, how I could really go in Bang, it's a new sheriff in the town uh -huh. If you want no problems, move around, move around Or oh, this is a showdown, little nigga, you get hoes down uh -huh. yeah, I got them on their toes now, now watch how they fold down Hey, it's a new sheriff in the town yeah. If you want no problems, move around, move around Or is this a showdown, little nigga, you get hosed down I got them on their toes now, now watch how they vote down uh, Niggas claim they daddy, then I'm talking too low Number one, Uno, trust in my Latino I do not mingo, nor do I contango With none of these bums, they are all scums I'm high up in a chain, I might as well be a plane okay. I take flight quickly, bitch, do not tempt me Came with a burn, a shoot into a Empty, no little mind, be drunk, fresh like Versace huh? Bang, it's a new sheriff in the town And he don't want no problems, he a clown, he a clown I smack that nigga right now, if he get too loud I put that on my bro now, he wouldn't last no brown Bang, there's a new sheriff in the town If you don't want no problems, move around, move around Or if it's a showdown, little nigga, you can host down I got him on their toes now, now watch how they both down